Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video here on my Retro G channel. Now, today's video, I actually want to discuss something, an idea that I had a couple of days ago that I tweeted about, and I thought, well, this would be really cool if Nintendo did, and I wanted to share with you guys to kind of get your opinion, your feedback. This is all completely hypothetical. This is not something that Nintendo was working on. This is just something that I thought in my crazy fantasy world would be really, really cool since I've been playing a lot of Battle Royale mode, specifically Fortnite. I've been playing a ton of Fortnite, which... By the way, why isn't Fortnite on the Nintendo Switch? It feels like it just, it, it's style, it's art style, the way that it looks, the way that it runs is just made for the Nintendo Switch for, for you know, their young audience and for just the, the graphical style just screams Nintendo. So it's kind of weird that they do not have it already on the Switch. Maybe they're working on it. I don't know what they're doing at Epic Games behind closed doors, but I just wanted to talk about a Nintendo specific Battle Royale type mode because again, Battle Royale type modes are very, very popular at the moment. A ton of people are playing PUBG. A ton of people are playing Fortnite. Specifically, a lot of little kids are playing Fortnite, which is something that Nintendo likes to do. They, they kind of gravitate towards like little kids as their core audience. So it's very interesting that a game that's doing so well, first of all, isn't on the Switch. Very strange. But then Nintendo, could they do it? Could they make their own Battle Royale type mode? And well, I think they could. And I think that the template for what they should go with is already with us. Now, what do I mean by that? The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is a game that I think could totally be a Battle Royale type game. Now, hear me out. I know it sounds crazy. It's so freaking crazy, obviously. But just think about it. Battle Royale maps, what do they require? They require a ton of people. They require a huge map to play on. They require the ability to scavenge and find stuff. So, you, for instance, in Fortnite, you can destroy stuff to gather equipment, like you need wood. You could totally do all of that in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You totally have all of those aspects in that game. It's a huge map. Like, look at the overworld. It's insanely huge. They don't even need the full size. Like, I feel like if they did do a Battle Royale mode with Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and they used the full map, they'd need close to 500 people to be able to make it fast paid. But if they used a smaller version of that and put 100 people in there, they could be the characters, the four champions, they could be Link, they could be Zelda. Hell, they could even throw other Nintendo characters in there. Mario, Luigi, Wario, anyone from the Nintendo universe, toss them in there to play as well. And the, and the aspect's already there. You could be running around chopping down trees for wood, using that to build if you want to, or just to have your campfire, using your ability to ride horses to get around. They added the motorcycle recently as a DLC, so it would make it easier to travel around. You have enemies that you need to defeat that aren't even your enemies as well, which would be pretty cool as well. Just, you're taking on enemies, and just, to, just in your head, close your eyes, or if you're watching the video, I'll try to show some kind of weird image or like what I have in my head, but in my head, it would be that you drop down, you get to choose where you drop down in Hyrule and in just any any area, honestly, on the huge map. You go down, you have to find weapons, which you can use at sticks at first, last resort also, but use sticks to grab weapons from enemies. While you're doing all of this, while you're defeating enemies to grab their weapons, while you're, you know, running around collecting apples or fishing or doing whatever to grab food that you could use to restore your health, while you're grabbing, you know, armor and stuff like that to protect yourself, maybe it adds increased shield, I don't know, that would be something they would have to work on. But while you're doing all of that, you're hunting, you're gathering, you're just kind of picking up weapons, there would be other people also there trying to do the same thing. And then, so not only would you be thinking like, I gotta defeat this guy, you know, and, and pick up his stuff, but at the same time, you're like, yo, is somebody watching right now and waiting for me to be weakened to come in and strike and kill me? Now, obviously they would have to kind of balance the health a little bit. Obviously everyone would have to have the same amount of hearts and it would be really interesting. Will they get rid of the stamina system? Would it still be there? How would they implement like the whole shield type thing? Uh, would they just like, if you pick up a shield, it depends on how good the shield is. I'd say maybe that's just the way that it goes, but it's it's so cool. You can have a ton of different armors already. You know, Legends of the Breath of the Wild has a ton of different armors and outfits you can wear. So it just lends itself to that, which is a big part of Fortnite, which is why it's doing so well, despite the fact that it's a free to play. It's getting a ton of money from people buying the outfits. And again, Breath of the Wild has all of that in spades. So I just want to see it. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I would love to see a Breath of the Wild Battle Royale where 50, 100 people show up on a miniaturized version of Hyrule of basically the entire overworld for Breath of the Wild. You land down, 
You need to chop down trees for wood so you can start fires, you can find different arrows, you can find different bows, you can defeat enemies to grab their weapons, but all while you're doing that, you're scavenging and hunting, you gotta keep an eye out for other links or other champions depending on what they choose as their character or maybe it's just all random but while you're doing all of that there's those guys also doing the same and trying to survive to be the last one and i just i don't know i'm just i'm getting super excited talking about it because i feel like that would be a game that would first of all do incredibly well if backed by nintendo if they did it and i feel like i just i feel like there would be so many kids playing this game like i feel like there would be so many kids jumping on playing as zelda playing as link trying to survive to be the last one and you would have so much more than just trying to kill each other you'd be trying to survive the elements and you know what if i don't know if this would be a system but you know and, and again this is all hypothetical i'm acting like this is a real game but imagine going to like a a really cold area you need to have your your peppers that you need to pick up to, to stay alive or you need the special clothes or whatever uh, obviously you probably have to be like picking up like potions or or picking up you know like little of the hot peppers or whatever but, you know, do we add that to this game? Like, what do you guys think? Drop some comments down below. But would you guys want to see Environmental Hazard as something you have to also deal with in this Battle Royale mode that I'm concocting in my head? That Nintendo, feel free to take this idea. Feel free to grab it, run with it, and score a touchdown. This is all you. Grab Zelda, grab Link, grab the four champions. Just bring them all in and let them have a lot of fun in this. But I feel... <laughs> I'm really excited for this. I feel like this is something that would really be cool, that would really do well. So... Give me your thoughts, give me your opinions down in the comment section below. I wanted to make a video on this before I forgot this idea that I had. And who knows, maybe Nintendo watches this and is like, Well, yeah, this guy, this guy Retro just got a pretty good idea. You know, you, well, you should definitely think about this. You know, man, Nintendo, if you want to like put like a really small credits down at the bottom, be like, you know, Retro G came up with this idea. That would be totally cool. But uh, anyways, just want to make a video on that, guys. Let me know what you guys think about that. Would you want to play a Battle Royale mode type like that? Like where it's Nintendo characters, specifically Legend of Zelda characters, and they're all trying to scavenge, they're hunting, they're, you know, picking up weapons and defeating enemies so that they can use them on you. And it's like 100 people or like a 500, depending. I don't know if the Switch could handle it. I don't know. But uh, I, th I think it would be really fun. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, if you think this idea is awesome and you would want to see it, smash a like on the video. It may be, maybe, maybe Nintendo will see it if we get enough support on the video. So smash a like on the video. If you are new to the channel, if you want to see even more content like this, obviously make sure you guys do subscribe and you turn on notifications by slapping that bell icon next to the subscription button. Uh, follow me on Twitter at the RetroG and also do have my main channel and my second channel for vlogs in the description below. Check those out as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.